Hello, it's time for another game project. I'm not a gamer, but I still enjoy making games for micro microcontrollers. I learned a lot while making games. They can be very challenging to program. After many games I created for TTGO T display board, I decided to use OLED display again. OLEDs are cheaper, simpler and games run runs much faster on OLED display. It is easy to make something like this on breadboard, but I decided to make something more permanent. So I designed this PCB. This way I can carry this game console in my work bag and I can program new games when I'm on pause. So don't miss new games. Hit that subscribe button down. PCB is made by PCB way. They were very nice to send me this. I love to order my PCBs on PCB way site. Quality is amazing and prices are great. They have also platform where you can share your projects. I will share this project so you can order it also. Link is in description. PCBs arrived in uh, this nice box. I need to say that they were very good protected and PCB Way also included pen and couple stickers. So thank you PCB Way. This project needs a minimum number of components. 6 push buttons. Mm, this on off switch. Here we here goes OLED display and here goes microcontroller which is which is a M5 Atom board powered by ESP32 Pico great little ESP32 device uh, I love the fact that I don't need to solder this microcontroller to PCB I can remove it from PCB so I can use it for another projects. M5 Atom is made by M5 Stack company and this tiny ESP32 development board have only few input output pins. We can see here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. I use all of uh, these 6 pins, uh, input output pins for push buttons. Here we have this groove connector and uh, in groove connector we can also find ground, VCC and additional two pins. That is perfect for OLED display. You can see that uh, this uh, groove connector is soldered here and uh, these pins and these are connected. So, for example, if your OLED display have different pin configuration, you can just uh, solder these uh, wires on different way. Plastic case is nice, but you can also remove it. So, this thing looks much better. Here is also RGB LED and one more push button that can be used. Overall, great choice when you need something small and compact, but still powerful. So, here is my simple game console. I used two identical PCBs and I connected them using these, uh, I don't know, how you call them. Between it's uh, lots of space so I can fit even bigger battery inside. And finally let's talk about games. First game I tried on this console was this Duck Hunt game I wrote it a couple years ago. Fun and fast game very addictive point of game is to shoot ducks smaller ducks will give more points and uh, if i miss rgb led and if i miss rgb led will blink in red if i hit it will blink green 
One game last. One game last 60 seconds. So in that time I need to collect as many points I can. You can check code in uh, description. You can also check breadboard version of this game. Link is in the description. I'm planning to make more games, so don't forget, forgot to, so don't forget to subscribe. On internet, I also find that code for this Tetris game. I tried it, I tried it, and it works perfectly. I will also post link of original post. I love Tetris. So that's it. Hope you like this simple game console. Please subscribe if you want to see more games for this project. Uh, if you want to support this channel, you can buy me coffee using coffee site. Link is in the description. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.